The Primist presents how Saudi Arabia's Jeddah Tower got abandoned. In 2008, Saudi Arabia's billionaire Prince Al Walid bin Talal revealed his plans to construct the Jeddah Tower, the first skyscraper to reach 1,000 meters or 3,281 feet. Projected to be the tallest structure in the world and lying between the two holiest cities of Mecca and Medina, this skyscraper aimed to become the symbol of Jeddah's economic city. The tower was initially planned to bloom Saudi Arabia's economy by bringing in more tourism. However, the idea needed to meet a fitting fate. Nearly 15 years later, political shenanigans and the COVID epidemic caused the construction work to be put on hold. There are no plans to resume construction, while just one third of the skyscraper has been constructed. Adrian Smith, the architect of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, is also the man behind Jeddah Tower. Some design features between the two buildings are similar, such as the Y-shaped layout with three rather than four external walls. However, in reality, the three-wall construction is more aerodynamic and better withstanding high-altitude wind gusts that are particularly unpredictable in the desert. Every building taller than 1,968.5 feet is referred to as a super-tall structure, which includes both of Smith's buildings. Let's discuss the tower's core intention before moving on to its future. Hosting commercial and residential products, such as homes, hotels, and businesses for the general public, this project was envisioned as a game-changer, bringing almost 2 million more residents under one roof. A significant amount of money is required to see a project of this magnitude through to completion, because, as we all know, it will be costly and straightforward to build. This 1,000-meter mega-tall building initially cost roughly $1.2 billion. Once known as the Kingdom Tower, the building will house the highest observatory in the world, surpassing Shanghai. It will also have a separate 98-foot diameter outdoor balcony that was initially planned to be a helipad, but couldn't accommodate one due to the height of the building. For a skyscraper of this size, it has an intriguing appearance. Separate extrusions can press against one another thanks to the three petals concept, and the contour is modeled by the folded fronds of immature desert plant growth. The construction does thoughtfully and subtly join the ground. It is surrounded by transportation corridors, and the plinth harmonizes with the cityscape. There were meant to be 12 escalators and 59 elevators in the Jeddah Tower. Five of these elevators will be double-decker to take their admirers to the observatory in just 67 seconds. The lifts will not reach the speeds of standard elevators, as the air pressure change at those altitudes would cause nausea. Three sky lobbies will stop an elevator from having to go all the way to the top, eliminating the need for excessively huge cables. It has high-tech features a high-performance exterior wall system, including low-conductivity glass, will minimize energy consumption by replacing thermal loads. There are super cool patios all along its three sides. Each side features a series of shades containing 80,000 tons of steel. Now, let's move on to the current state and prospects of the Jeddah Tower. Unfortunately, the Saudi Arabian purge resulted in the arrests of both prominent figures, Prince Al-Walid bin Talal and Bakar bin Laden, in 2017. They were both detained on suspicion of corruption, but were eventually released. The Saudi Kingdom's ability to manage most of its assets was a condition of its release. Work on this project was going along quite steadily at first, but amid corruption allegations and subsequent labor disputes in 2018, the bin Laden company was unable to secure funding to continue construction. The foundation work was finished in December 2013. It was 5 meters thick, with a depth of up to 105 meters, making up a solid structure. The tower has 60 stories, and a current height of 252 meters. But everything has stayed the same over the years. According to a promotional video the developers posted in 2020, the tower will likely be finished in 2030, which is still approximately 10 years away. The engineering group behind the tower, Thornton Tomasetti, is confident that the tower will be finally realized. However, ever since the construction stopped, there have been no updates on the tower and the whole project of Jeddah City sitting in a corner unattended. 
One concrete reason that we can think of is the initial estimated budget. The initial cost of the tower was supposed to be $1.2 billion, even less than the Burj Khalifa. Officials claimed that this estimate was due to the availability of cheaper labor. However, post-COVID inflation has changed the face of many global economies. All in all, the world we live in today is a much more expensive place than it used to be a few years back. Therefore, the $20 billion for the whole economic city also sounds underestimated. So we believe that this is the reason, until we hear something concrete from the companies involved and the Saudi Arabian government. One more fact that we would like to shower some light upon is that the tower resides in a scarcely developed region of Jeddah. So even if the construction work starts today and the tower gets completed, it will not benefit the locals as predicted in the instruction and marketing sessions. Therefore, building the whole city around this tower is another necessity. And if the Saudi government believes they can pull it all off as their vision of 2030, they better resume the work right now. Now, jumping into the final question. Is the tower abandoned? Well, as of now, yes. But you never know when affluent sheiks decide to resume and complete it. With that, it's time for us to sign off. Do give your opinions about this project in the comments section below. Like and subscribe. We will catch you at the next one.